I'm Anil Kumar and now let us see how to prove trigonometric identity involving compound angles. So we have to prove identity for all permissible values of x. 1 minus tan square x divided by 1 plus tan square x equals to cos 2x. I hope you remember what is cos 2x. Cos 2x is equals to cos square x minus sin square x. This is one expression. It could also be written in many different forms as it could be written as cos square x minus 1 2 times or 1 minus 2 sin square x. So, so these are different ways in which you could write cos 2x. Now to solve this identity what we can do is we can actually begin from any side and do the needful. So we could write cos 2x uh, as I'm just thinking about it. So what we can do is, oh, let me show you different ways of doing that could be even better, right? So, so let me show you non-traditional ways first. Okay, that is to say, we can begin with right side. Not really recommended, but well, you could do it sometimes. So cos 2x is this expression. So we say cos 2x is equals to cos square x minus sine square x and remember this is equal to this one divide by 1 right but what is 1 1 less less right 1 right so divide by 1 but you also know that cos square x minus sine square x divide by 1 could be written as cos square x plus sine square x is that okay so that is how you could write 1 as now, since you need 1 plus tan square x here and 1 minus tan square x in the numerator, it's a good idea to divide both numerator and denominator by, divide them by cos square x or you can factor cos square x either way, right? So, what we will do here is we'll factor cos square x. We can write this as uh, equal to, let's say, cos square x. And when you factor cos square x, you get 1 minus sine square x over cos square x, right? So we get sine square x over cos square x, is it okay? Divided by, when you factor cos square x, you get cos square x 1 plus sine square x over cos square x. Now that gets cancelled off, so you get 1 minus sine over cos is tan, so we get tan square x over 1 plus tan square x. And that is equals to the left side. So this could be one of your solutions, right? So that's kind of a tricky solution here, but this is a very important solution. Sometimes the question is, write cos 2x in terms of tan. And now in that case, you don't know what this is. So that is how you derive that expression. So that is very important expression so make a note of this now let us see how to do this question right so we could actually begin from the left side and then solve it so let's write down the left side as 1 plus instead of tan I am writing this as sine square x over cos square x divided by 1 plus I mean this was minus right sine square x over cos square x. So we take common denominators. So left side could be equals to cos square x minus sine square x divided by, so when you take, I mean, all this divided by cos square x, right? Cos square x, let me write like this. I'm going to save some space here. And then again, we get the same thing, cos square x plus sine square x this time in the denominator divided by cos square x. Now they get cancelled off so you get cos square x minus sine square x and that is 1 cos square x plus sine square x correct and these get cancelled off so they get cancelled off and this is 1 and therefore we could write this as cos square x minus sine square x which is cos 2x equals to right side. So for this particular question uh, this is a better method to do. However, there could be a problem which says write cos 2x in terms of tan, 
right? In that case, this is the solution for that question. I hope that helps you to get both kinds of solutions. The idea here is to learn different ways of solving trigonometric identities, right? And also selecting the best possible solution. The solution on the left is definitely better. Thank you and all the best.